Hey everybody, welcome back to the good old Southern IA. Today is Wednesday, so that is day three of taking you guys along with me all week during my off season work. In yesterday's video, I said that we would most likely be, or I said we would be cutting hedge posts today, but we are not. My father is still feeling under the weather, so we have pushed that off another day, giving me another day to work here in the shop. So my goal for the day is to get this piece right here, the tool skid, sanded up, cleaned up, maybe primered, and possibly even painted as well. We'll give you guys a quick summary of what this thing's design is going to be at the end when it gets there. So this is the tool skid. I can pick it up with pallet forks, move it around, and place it onto the flatbed. Right here is just shy of a 100-gallon fuel tank. Uh, that'll be diesel. Obviously, I'm going to be putting a pump on it. On the back side here, I have chain storage where I can store chains and binders for when I'm hauling things on flatbeds. On this side right here is going to be the Montezuma toolbox, which will carry most of the tools that I'll need to work on things during the season. And on this side right here, there will be a generator, an air compressor, and then maybe a little bit more storage on this side right here. Kind of had the brainchild to get this thing put together the way it is, that way during the season. When I need the tools, when I need the fuel, I can have that. But when, during the off season, like uh, this time of year, when I don't need it on the truck, I can take it off. And then I have the full bed for doing smaller hay deliveries. Figured it'd be a good deal. The main stuff that I'm going to be using today is an orbital sander, two different grit sanding papers. I got blue masking tape to tape off the things I don't want to be sprayed. And then I've also got this surface prep to get it good and clean. I'll hit it with some primer and then I will get hit with rattle cans of paint. That's how we're gonna get it painted up. Might as well get after it. The first thing that I'm gonna do is uh, put it onto the pallet forks and get to sanding. I think we're ready to go. Let's fire up this uh, sander and get the sanding. I got it roughed up pretty good, but now it's, you know, dusty. So we're going to take care of that by uh, putting some surface cleaner on it and hitting it with the air hose. So now what I'm going to be using is a uh, wipe out surface prep. Basically clean up the surface, make sure there's no dust on there or oil from the metal. Um, just get it good and clean and then we can put a primer on it. Well, there we go. The gas mask worked because I don't feel super loopy after doing that. We got it pretty well cleaned up here. We've got this uh, primer stuff. This probably isn't the best stuff to use, but uh, it's what I've got and I'm going to go with it. I did get some etching primer for the flatbed when I get the chance to do it, but I'm probably going to wait until it gets maybe a little bit warmer outside to do it. 
So let's put the mask back on and apply a few coats of primer. Okay, I'm gonna call that good for right now. Gonna wait for it to dry up a little bit, then I'll come out here and I'll probably put some uh, black paint on it. Once we get that black paint on, I'm gonna uh, open up both the doors and let the shop air out for a little bit. So check back in about 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm done with the black. The last thing I got left is I'm painting actually the front of it white. So I'm gonna try and get that painted now too. Let's we'll see if I screw this up completely. But we're gonna give it a shot. Not fantastic, but not horrible either. So I'll take that. It'll look pretty decent. Um, gonna give it about 20 minutes or 30 minutes to dry. And then I'm gonna come out here and put a logo on there. All eggs. Yeah. That's crazy. Well, I think that looks pretty good, but you know, I can't trust my own opinion. So we'll get a, a master's opinion. We'll get Wayne. Well, you haven't even seen it yet. Yeah, when you were gone, I went out. What, when I went to get the hay? Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, did you see this though? Yeah. Did you see this side? Oh. I just did this side. I'll come down to that. That is some. Oh, for uh, the bailing, the red, the bale, or the be bale, the bed. That right there is over the diesel filler, and oh. there's no railing there either. So this is the only place that there's a railing. Yeah. So. 
Good. You like it? Yeah. Think it looks good? I, I was out here and I, I didn't go up on Oh, uh, I just side. put that on there. Oh, you did? Yeah. Yeah. You did a good job. You like it? Yeah. Think it'll look good on the back of that pickup truck? Oh, yeah. Now all I gotta do is put the air compressor generator and toolbox on it, and it's done. So, I think it looks nice. I think it looks snazzy. What do you think? You, what, you got any opinions about this? <laughs> nope. Well, guys, that's gonna end it for today's video. Got it painted in here, so I'll let Wayne say uh, see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> see you guys.